Good morning. Welcome to morning prayer. It is a very rainy uh, Monday morning, and <clears throat> I'm here at the church building uh, doing the morning work and getting ready for morning prayer. So it is good to see you, and I see that we are broadcasting successfully. Um, so, let's see, are there any, is there anything I need to tell you about this morning? Not really. Um, yeah. <clears throat> so, normally I give people a little bit to, to log in, so we'll just give it a little bit, a little bit more time. Last night we had a great uh, kids sing, and... That was great. We had cars all out here and we sang some kids songs. And we are now at five baptisms since this shutdown began. Um, it's really cool to see um, five baptisms and several more new members and, and just to see that the church is continuing to move and God is continuing to move. And so, uh, yeah, it's actually... I know there's a lot of difficulty going on, uh, but God is doing a lot of good things too. So, all right, let's, uh, let's get started with our morning prayer. Today is Monday, which means that we are praying for the sick and the needy. Our call to worship comes from Psalm 61. Hear my cry, O God. Listen to my prayer. From the ends of the earth I call to you. I call as my heart grows faint. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. For you have been my refuge, a strong tower against the foe. Dear Father, you are the high rock. You are the one that we cling to in the storms and in the chaos and in the waves. And Father, we thank you for being that. We are here in this moment to stand on you, to cling to you, and to recognize that you are our rock, you are in control, and that the best thing we can do to deal with our circumstances, to approach our circumstances, is to talk to you. So we ask that you would help us to pray well. We ask that you would help us to be honest. Father, we ask that you would hear our prayers. In Jesus' name, amen. Our metrical psalm today is Psalm 15. Who, Lord, may dwell within your holy place and live upon your holy righteous hill? Those who walk blamelessly and do what is right and speak the truth from their heart ever still. Who never slander with an evil tongue, nor do their neighbor any wrongful deed who cast no slur on either friend or foe, rejecting those who walk by sinful creed. The righteous honor those who fear the Lord. They keep their oath despite the hurt or pain. No wicked bribe they take for a reward. Money is lent without dishonest gain. Who, Lord, may dwell within your holy place, who live upon your holy righteous hill? Those who walk in this path and do these things will not be moved or shaken from your will. Dear Father, we adore you today because you are righteous and because you teach us to be righteous and you take up the cause of the righteous. Father, we thank you that you stand for good. We thank you that you vindicate those who are compassionate, who love who obey. Father, we recognize that in your mercy you allow us to wander, you allow us to go against your will and to do things our own way. And we thank you for that mercy. But Father, we ask that you would lead us into your ways. Help us to do your will. In Jesus' name, amen. Today, the commands of Scripture that lead us into confession are uh, the Beatitudes from Matthew 5. 
Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you, and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad, because great is your reward in heaven. For in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Dear Father, we confess as we hear the call of your Son, we confess to mixed results. Father, we have victories to acknowledge. We have moments where we have been peacemakers, where we have been meek, where we have sought righteousness. But Father, we also have failures. We also have moments when we have not lived up to the calling that your son set before us. So Father, we ask in this moment as we confess, as we reflect, we ask that you would guide our reflection. Help us to see truthfully where we are at. Help us to see truthfully what we have to offer you. Our broken moments and the victories you have given us. Father, give us that clarity and help us to confess our victories and our defeats honestly. Please take a moment in reflection and confession. Here are the words of comfort from Scripture. Is anyone among you sick? Let them call the elders of the church and pray over them and anoint them with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well. The Lord will raise them up. If they have sinned, they will be forgiven. Dear Father, we thank you for your promise of forgiveness. We thank you for the fact that your son's death pays for our failures. And the life that he received from you, he gives to us. And that life makes it possible for us to have victories over sin. Father, we pray that you would forgive us for our mistakes. We praise you for the victories you have given us. And we ask that you would continue to replace what is broken in us with healing, with life from your son. In his name we pray. Amen. Today our thanksgivings are for <clears throat> our life and our health. Dear Father, we begin our week, we begin this work week by recognizing that every gift comes from you. The gifts that we think of, the gifts that are obvious, and the gifts that we take for granted. So, Father, we take this moment to say thank you for the basic gift of life that you give us, that we, that we carry with us every day on this earth. Help us to be thankful. I invite your thanksgiving for the breath of God that gives us life.
I ask your thanksgiving for the health that we have enjoyed and the health that we enjoy today. Ask your thanksgivings for the simple joys and pleasures of embodied life. I ask your thanksgivings for the senses that we have to enjoy God's good creation. I invite your thanksgiving for medical personnel and technology that sustain and improve our health. I ask your thanksgiving for the life of Jesus Christ through which we are saved. I ask your thanksgiving for the promise of new whole life in the resurrection. Dear Father, we come before you now to ask for you to intervene in our world, to ask you to help those who are sick, those who are in need. We pray for your intervention in our communities. I invite your prayers for those who suffer from a physical illness or an injury. I invite your prayers for those who are awaiting treatment or surgery. Invite your prayers for those with chronic illness or pain. I invite your prayers for those who suffer from mental illness. I 
I invite your prayers for those who have received a terminal diagnosis. I invite your prayers for the poor, the hungry, the homeless, and the unemployed. Invite your prayers for prisoners, exiles, refugees, and migrants. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. Thank you for joining us for prayer this morning. Uh, we'll be back here again tomorrow at 8.30 a.m. And there's also going to be our Deleted Scenes broadcast this afternoon at 3. Uh, if you join us here on Facebook for that, we'll be talking more about the sermon series on exile that we're doing. So, uh, I pray that your day will be blessed, that you will feel the presence and power of God go with you in whatever awaits you for this day. Stay healthy, stay hopeful, go in peace to love and serve the Lord.